damn phones. Babylon's can't crack the code. What to do, YouTube? B. Kelly back again with another banger video. In today's video, y'all, I'm going to be talking about what happened to the past 10 Davey O'Brien Award winners. Now, if you don't know what that award is, it is given to the most outstanding quarterback in all of college football. Now, before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button as we are on the road to 10K. Now, let's get into the video. In 2011, the winner was Baylor quarterback Robert Griffin III. Now, in 2011, he had an amazing season where in 13 games played, he completed completed 72% of his passes, threw for 4,293 yards, 37 touchdowns, and only 6 interceptions. And on the ground, he averaged 4 yards per carry, rushing for 699 yards and 10 touchdowns. In this season as well, he was the Heisman winner, the 2011 AP Player of the Year Award, 2011 Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year, and a consensus All-American. In the 2012 NFL Draft, he was taken with the second overall pick in the first round by the Washington football team. RG3 has played in the NFL for a total of seven seasons. Three years in Baltimore, three years in Washington, and one year in Cleveland. Now, he started off his career very well, as he looked very promising with Washington as a rookie, as he actually was the 2012 AP Offensive Rookie of the Year and was voted to the Pro Bowl. But he would end that season with a very, very gruesome leg injury that honestly was the downfall of his career as he never really bounced back and never really looked like himself after that injury and struggled the rest of his career. In his seven-year career, he has a starting record of 16-26, and 26, completing 63% of his passes, throwing for 9,271 yards, 43 touchdowns, and 30 total interceptions. On the ground in his career, he has rushed for 1,809 yards and 10 touchdowns. Most of those yards and touchdowns coming in his rookie season in Washington. RG3 was recently released from the Baltimore Ravens concluding their 2020 NFL season, ending his career with the Ravens as a three-year backup for them. He is currently a free agent in the NFL. In 2012, the winner was Johnny Manziel from Texas A&M. Now, in the 2012 season, Johnny Manziel took the college football world by storm as he had an amazing year while in 13 games played, he completed 68% of his passes, threw for 3,706 yards, 26 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. But on the ground, this guy was truly different as he rushed for 1,410 yards, averaging 7 yards per carry and 21 touchdowns. And in this season, he was the Heisman winner. Manziel would have to stay another season at Texas A&M after his breakout 2012 season, and in 2013, he did play very good, but he just wasn't as good as he was in the previous season, but he would finish fifth in Heisman voting in 2013. Then he would ultimately declare for the 2014 NFL Draft, where he was taken with a 22nd overall pick in the first round by the Cleveland Browns. Manziel's NFL career would not last very long, as he was only in the league for two seasons, both with the Cleveland Browns. And in those two seasons, he started eight total games in the 14 he played in, as he had a 2-6 and six quarterback record. He completed 57% of his passes, threw for 1,675 yards, seven touchdowns, and seven interceptions. On the ground in his career, he rushed for one touchdown for 259 yards, averaging 5.6 yards per carry. The main reason why Johnny Manziel did not last in the NFL very long was... Well, off the field issues. He had a lot of off the field issues. And if you're going to play the way that he played, especially being a first round pick with all that baggage on you, you're not going to stay in the league very long. And he has not played in the NFL since 2015. He has played in the AAF, the Canadian Football League, and now the Fan Control Football League since he has last played in the NFL in 2015. For the 2013 season, the winner was Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston. And in 2013, in 14 games played, he won a national championship and he won the Heisman. His stats for that season were he completed 67% of his passes, threw for 4,057 yards, 40 touchdowns, and only 10 interceptions. This was very impressive, but he did have to come back for a 2014 season due to eligibility rules for the NFL draft. 
but as a redshirt sophomore in 2014, he played very well as he finished 6th in Heisman voting, but he did not have as good of a season as he did as a redshirt freshman, but in this season he played in 13 games, completed 65% of his passes, threw for 3,907 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 18 interceptions. He would declare his name for the 2015 NFL Draft, where he was taken by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the first overall pick. Jameis Winston has played in the NFL for a total of six seasons, five seasons in Tampa Bay as a starting quarterback, and one season which was his past 2020 season in New Orleans as a member of the Saints as a backup quarterback. In his career, he poses a quarterback record of 28-42, and 42, completing 61% of his passes, throwing for 19,812 yards, 121 touchdowns, and 88 interceptions. In his career as well, he has made one Pro Bowl, and he's currently seen as the next starting quarterback for the New Orleans Saints in the 2021 NFL season. In the 2014 season, the Davey O'Brien Award winner is Marcus Mariota from Oregon. Now in this season, he completely balled out as in 15 games played, he completed 68% of his passes through for 4,454 yards, 42 touchdowns thrown, and 4 interceptions on the season. He also rushed for 770 yards, rushing for 6 yards per carry, and had a total of 15 touchdowns on the ground this season. He also won the Heisman as well. He would forgo his final year of eligibility at Oregon and declare his name for the 2015 NFL Draft, where he was taken with the second overall pick in that draft by the Tennessee Titans. Marcus Mariota has played in the NFL for six total seasons, five in Tennessee, and one in Las Vegas as a member of the Raiders, and he was a backup quarterback in that season. Now, Marcus Mariota, I would not say was a bad quarterback at Tennessee, but he exactly wasn't somebody that was going to push your team over the edge and be that elite playoff team that you want to be with the weapons that you have. Now, in his career, he poses a 29-32 and record as a starting quarterback, completing 63% of his passes, has thrown for 13,433 yards in his career, 77 touchdowns, and 45 interceptions. On the ground in his career, he has rushed for 1,487 yards and 12 total touchdowns on the ground. The next guy that I'm going to be talking about actually won back-to-back -back years in 2015 and 2016, and that was Clemson quarterback Deshaun Watson. Now, Deshaun Watson at Clemson was a complete baller. In 2015 and 15 games played, he completed 68% of his passes through for 4,109 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions while rushing for 1,105 yards and 12 total touchdowns on the ground. Deshaun in 2016 actually won the national title in this season as in 15 games played, he completed 67% of his passes through for 4,593 yards, 41 touchdowns, and 17 interceptions. Interceptions. On the ground in this season, he averaged 4 yards per carry, rushing for 9 total touchdowns on the ground. He never won the Heisman, but he got really close as in 2015 he got 3rd, and 2016 he was the runner-up. He would forgo his final year of eligibility at Clemson and declare his name for the 2017 NFL Draft, where he was taken with the 12th overall pick in that draft by the Houston Texans. Deshaun Watson has played 4 total seasons so far in the NFL, all with the Houston Texans, and he has been one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, especially as as of late. He poses a career record of 28-25. and 25. You may be like, well that's not really that great of a quarterback record, but this guy has been a baller pretty much his entire career, and he, honestly, if the Texans didn't have Deshaun Watson, they, they would be a lot worse without him. But in his career so far, he has completed 68% of his passes, has thrown for 14,539 yards, has only thrown 36 interceptions, but has thrown 104 total touchdowns through the air. He has also rushed for a total of 1,677 yards on the ground in his career, and a total of 17 touchdowns on the ground as well. He has been to three Pro Bowls, but it's really unclear if he's going to play in the 2021 season. As if you kept up with the news, Deshaun Watson has a lot of allegations on his name, and I really honestly do not know if he's going to be able to play until he is clear. In 2017, the winner was Oklahoma quarterback Baker Mayfield. And in this season, Baker Mayfield completely balled out as he won the Heisman Trophy in this season. And in 14 games played, he completed 71% of his passes, threw for 4,627 yards, 43 touchdowns, and only 6 interceptions, as well as rushing for 5 touchdowns on the ground. He was the number 1 overall pick in the 2018 draft by the Cleveland Browns. Baker Mayfield has played in the NFL for 3 total seasons now. 
all with the Cleveland Browns primarily being the starting quarterback the entire time, besides sitting the bench for the first few games in his NFL career, which happens to a lot of rookies. He's had a pretty good career so far, posing a 23-22 and record as a starting quarterback, completing 62% of his passes, thrown for 11,115 yards, 75 touchdowns, and 43 interceptions. On the ground, Baker Mayfield has rushed for four touchdowns in his career. But the really eye-popping stat for Baker Mayfield in his career as the Browns quarterback is that they actually went to the playoffs in 2020 and even won a playoff game, which if you know the Cleveland Browns, this... This is extremely rare. On to 2018, the award winner for this season was also from Oklahoma, as it was quarterback Kyler Murray. Now in the 2018 season, Kyler Murray in 14 games played with the Sooners, completed 69% of his passes through for 4,361 yards, 42 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. On the ground in this season, he rushed for 1,001 yards, averaging 7 yards per carry and 12 total touchdowns on the ground. He was also the Heisman winner for this season and would declare his name early for the 2019 NFL Draft, where he was the first overall pick by the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray has been in the NFL for two seasons now, both with the Arizona Cardinals as their starting quarterback, and he's had a pretty good career so far as he has completed 66% of his passes, has thrown for 7,693 yards, 46 touchdowns, and only 24 interceptions, while rushing for 1,363 yards, averaging 6 yards per carry, and 15 total touchdowns on the ground so far in his career. He has made one Pro Bowl and was the 2019 AP Offensive Rookie of the Year, and his career is certainly looking very bright. In 2019, the winner was LSU quarterback Joe Burrow. Now, in this season, Joe Burrow probably had one of the greatest seasons of all time, if not the greatest for a quarterback ever in college football. In this campaign of his, in 15 games played, he completed 76% of his passes through for 5,671 yards, 60 touchdowns, and only 6 interceptions. Not only that, he was the Heisman winner and a national champion, and he would end up being the first overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft by the Cincinnati Bengals. In Joe Burrow's rookie season in 2020, he played in 10 games as he tore his ACL in the 10th game after a very promising start as a rookie. The future does look bright for Joe Burrow, as in 10 games played in the season, he completed 65% of his passes through for 2,688 yards, 13 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. The last player I'm going to be talking about in today's video from the 2020 season is Mac Jones. Now, Mac Jones in his 2020 campaign played in 13 games where he completed 77% of his passes, threw for 4,500 yards, 41 touchdowns, and only 4 interceptions. He finished 3rd in Heisman voting and would declare his name for the NFL Draft after winning a national championship game with Alabama, where he was taken with the 15th overall pick in the first round by the New England Patriots. Well guys, now you have made it to the end of the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out. <laughs>